So once you visit here in Claremont or South Claremont, US 27 Road, you will find a lot of stuff in Kagan Crossing. <laughs> What is going on guys? This is RJ Bautista, top realtor here in Central Florida with EXP Realty. Today I'm gonna talk about or I'm gonna show you, I'm super excited for this one, is my area where you can find a lot of stuff where you can visit and also what you can do here in Claremont which is located in South Claremont because remember we have like two different places which is the North Claremont and the South Claremont. Where I'm particularly living is in South Claremont which is in US South 27. I will explain that later on so if you are planning to move here make sure you stay tuned from this start until the end because i'm gonna show you a lot of good stuff in this video but before i start this video if you're new to my channel welcome please subscribe if you haven't done so and also the most important thing is smash that like button for me and share this video once you found this value especially for those people who's planning to move here in florida especially here in south claremont which is i love this place all right so without further ado let's jump into it first thing that i would like to show you today in this video is our church as you know i'm a catholic person and i believe in god and also i'm super excited to show you this church which we are building here in south claremont which is located in us 27 this church i remember when they are planning to build this church the place that i'm gonna show you right now is just like but now as you can see it in this video we are developing and making progress so fast i'm super excited for this one because the priest who just planning or who's the making of this church who did the blessing on my wedding which is last 2020 i really support this church because the priest who is the leader of our church is so nice person and he is so welcoming every time you come here in our church this is what we do and how to celebrate and welcome for new visitors do we have visitors to St. Faustina today? Ask well, Welcome. welcome. Okay. We happen to have birthday celebrants here and today and for the rest of the week. The birthday celebrants. <laughs> Blessed Lord, with continued health in mind and body and peace and serenity in their hearts and in the hearts of their loved ones. May God grant you these blessings in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Congratulations to you. Together we will say the prayer for our camp so that's how we celebrate and welcome visitors here in our church but also everyone is welcome to come in in our church and have some blessing with father ramon who is our leader or the priest of this church saint faustina and also what i would do next is i will give you some updates of our church step by step i will do next on my future video is i will show you how this church is building i am hoping that this church will build by end of this year that's the target or the timeline that we are hoping or if not hopefully by the early next year could be open this for the blessing for 2023 i'm looking forward for that one so if you want to see this progress make sure you stay tuned in this video subscribe so i will notify you every time i make a new video so let's go to my next one which is i'm gonna show you where i go when i look after myself where i work out where i go to the gym as you know i look after myself i work out mostly 
not every day but every other day the cf fitness which is i'm showing you right now this is the gym that i go to and this gym is located in us 27 this gym or this fitness area they offer a lot of stuff not just about the gym the staff here are so friendly in fact i know the manager here who run this gym let me know you can either message me on my instagram link and then i will get in touch with one of these staff in the gym and i will tell them that you want to visit the gym and also you can see what you can do inside of their gym they have a lot of stuff to offer they have some weight room in the gym they have some cardio area they have like big screen television where you can do your cardio while you're watching these good movies in front of you and also they have some dance studio you can do some yoga you can do some relaxation as well they have relaxation room all you need to do is just come visit to the gym uh, let me know or if you want to visit the gym just tell my name RJ Bautista tell them that you watch this video and or show this video if you want and then tell them that I recommend you so that they will be happy about that so that's the next stop let's go to my next stop which will be the grocery stops and also the Kagan Crossing oh I'm super excited for this one it's just because what you can find in Kagan Crossing is all the supermarkets all the restaurant which is like let's say the Chipotle one of my favorite restaurant you can find Arby's you can find Wendy's you can find McDonald's Chili's a lot of restaurant you can find here in South Claremont which is they call Kagan Crossing so once you visit here in Claremont or South Claremont US 27 road you will find a lot of stuff in Kagan Crossing it's not just like the big Walmart or super center Walmart you will see it there if you are located here in South Claremont you can do a lot of stuff and then you can visit also a lot of restaurant if you want like to all right so that's the Kagan Crossing if you want more information about this let me know I could show you more all you need to do is just contact me get in touch or reach out in any of my social media and I would be happy to show you around and also next stop what I'm gonna show you is the Disney World I know you are waiting yeah. for this one how far is the Disney World from US 27 or from the Claremont or South Claremont okay particularly if you are located here in US 27 let's say you are in Kagan Crossing oh my god you are not too far from Disney World you are probably 30 miles i oh, sorry you are probably like take you around 25 minutes it depends on the traffic or it depends on your location right now where my location is i am about 30 minutes away from the Disney World it depends on the time what time I'm gonna go to Disney World if I'm gonna go like on the rush hours there might be probably traffic from here to there but it will not take you more than one hour from where we are located which is super good to know especially if you have kids if you are planning to move here your kids probably love to see Disney World Mickey Mouse and all that stuff you know to visit and also the good thing here in Disney World you can visit the Disney Spring oh I love this one Disney Spring is where the shopping center where you can visit go shopping you can chill and also movie and doing a lot of stuff where you can make some activities with your family whether it's kid adults or with dogs i believe you can bring your animal there but you have to double check that one or i'll double check it with me and i will let you know on my next video all right so that's the good stuff where if you're located here you are not too far from disney world and also last but not the least when i talk about kids where i'm located right now <coughs> excuse me what? so last but not the least when i'm talking about kids maybe if you are wondering if i move here would i get a school for my kids all right i have like one school which is i recommend for elementary school you are wondering what good school here in claremont one of the school here i, I recommend is the sawgrass elementary school so this sawgrass elementary school which is located inside the sawgrass community which is my community what i will do is i will show you the outside here of the school so you can see around and also you will see here as well this school has been built when this community this sawgrass community has been built few years ago okay so if you want more information oops, oops. 
it means I finished to Oops. make some video but I will continue let me finish this video it will be finishing soon I'm sorry yeah. about that in this Sawgrass Elementary School that I'm trying to show you this is located inside of the Claremont and also if you want some specific question or if you want to know more about this school all you need to do is get in touch with me or what you can do is you can come here in the place where is the elementary school located at and then we can go inside the school we can ask one of the principal or ask one of the representative of the school what they offer because for me I cannot say anything about this school it's just because like I am not working for this school but I am just saying to this is the school that I recommend for those people who's asking me who has a children who needs to go to elementary school so if you want more information about that let me know that's the most important thing so lastly but not the least here in Central Florida here in South Claremont what I'm gonna show you last is not far from downtown and also we are not so far from downtown what do you mean about that RJ so downtown Florida or downtown Orlando is probably around 45 minutes drive here so it means we are not too far from downtown Orlando I rather to live in this place because if I am too close to downtown Orlando what could happen is too much congestion it means like the traffic in Orlando as you know I4 is so much traffic in there especially in the rush hour if you're gonna come like between 8 o'clock in the morning up to 9 or 10 o'clock and as, as well as in the afternoon if you are driving home from 5 o'clock to 6 o'clock at night especially if you're living in downtown Orlando you might probably get the traffic so that's why I prefer like not too far but not too close in downtown Orlando which is the Claremont is the perfect place for me and also for you for the future residents here so if you have more question regarding Claremont I hope I cover something here maybe if not what I will do in the future is I will include some more stuff which makes you interested to move here everyone's welcome here so if you want more information let's get connected and also can talk about what's the good place for you to live I have like few different neighborhoods here where you can pick neighborhood a B C D if you want more information about that you know where to go contact me so this is the video for today thank you for watching this video until this end if you watch this video until this end I want to see comment down below Claremont so I can see how many people who watch this video and I really appreciate this in fact I have like a 21 questionnaire so what I would do is I will put the questionnaire down here where you can fill it up this questionnaire this is free and confidential especially for those who is very motivated and interesting to move here in Florida especially here in Claremont or South Claremont Florida so I hope you like this video once again I'm gonna say please subscribe if you haven't subscribed and the most important things smash that like button for me and also share this video for those people who's planning to move here in central florida especially here in claremont so until next time thank you again for watching this video until this end i'll see you on the other side peace what is going on guys this is rj bautista top realtor here in central florida hold on hey, here it's not good let me just do it again